Look at honey with the zoomies this morning. Go, honey. What's going on, y'all? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. I see my buddy Nugget coming over here. I'm over here by the nest. I was gonna count how many eggs we got now. I know Brooke counted in her last video, but let me see. One, two, three. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 eggs, partner. 14 eggs, sir. I was just going to count them. That's all. I was just coming over to count them. Oh, you want me to? Oh, goodness, y'all. This thing here. So he wants me to love on him. <laughs> I'm going to love on you. There you go. I'm going to love on you. I hope you guys are having... The best day ever today it is a gorgeous day here on the farm so much so that brooke is feeling pretty chipper today and we decided we're going to attempt to pull that one long run out front i know we're skipping the barbed wire area that we just cleaned off that fence row that we just cleaned off that old fence row but i'm still waiting on a tool to come in that i can mend barbed wire together with and it's not here yet so she feels good it's beautiful we thought you know what we're gonna pull that one fence row today you reckon you could help me there sir yeah i know we waiting on you to sit on some eggs which i don't think he's gonna do but brooke does speaking of the emus there were some questions about the whole parasite and worming and the manure collecting and all that and asked about the emus and we did collect the emus and we kind of we showed that and talked about it in the previous video or the video before the result video and i guess maybe some people didn't watch that video first and just watched the result video and got kind of confused but that's okay we did collect the emus and they did come back negative i think i said in the video that everybody else was negative and was assuming the emus and anybody else we didn't treat so the emus were a okay right partner all right buddy i got things we gotta do today yeah without any sheriffing that's what's right what's going on loretta big gus how you guys doing today huh how come we did not treat the honeymooners well in the previous video i explained how we just took a snapshot we got a sample from each type of species here because almost all livestock have some sort of parasite you know if, if mildred's got one chances are moody's got one and therefore we would treat moody with the same medicine we're going to treat uh mildred with and that's the way we did it and that was recommended to us by the vet but y'all peaches threw a curveball in that see peaches came back negative so since peaches came back negative we didn't treat her because we just assumed peaches would have had something and then whatever medicine we would have treated peaches with we did what we would have treated the honeymooners with but again she came back negative so therefore we're not going to treat peaches but we're going to regroup on the honeymooners uh, we're going to get with dr d see what we need to do and go from there chances are we're just going to gather some manure from these guys let him analyze it and tell us what we need to do but that old peaches i tell y'all what peaches says she ain't having it see she's not having it she's total diva hey listen i'm not saying this is a bad thing at all because we are so happy that you are i mean you got the green check you've passed with flying colors but you did throw you did throw a little wrench in our plan you know what i mean but you know what that's nothing that's nothing we can handle it. ain't that right girl that's right we can handle it yeah we're gonna get you guys taken care of no doubt taken care of like we're gonna try to take care of this pasture today or one run of it i should say what's up gus what's up buddy all right holly's new favorite toy is this frisbee back back she can't catch it but she loves playing with it as you guys can see it don't throw very well anymore but it does not bother her at all I bet I throw this thing 30 to 40 times a day. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Throw it again, right? Throw it again. I got, like, hang on. Get back. 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 You ready? <laughs> oh, that was another one that came up as was about our dogs and cats and treating them for, for parasites. Well, this week has been all about the livestock, uh, not the dogs and cats, but not to say we don't treat the dogs and cats. The dogs and cats get a monthly treatment. So these guys are okay. Yeah, they get a monthly treatment for all that good stuff that the vet has them on. Ready? Ready? Look at honey with the zoomies this morning. Go, honey. There's a donkey across the street he hauling. Let's see if they he haul back. They're looking over here at the emus. We got the emus over here now. It's been pretty. It's been really pretty. So the emus are on this side. This is where the eggs are. We got emu feed and water over here. We got some beautiful weather. So we opened up this pasture here so these guys can enjoy it as well. And they are having a blast over here. Definitely having a blast. Everybody's running and galloping and it's so much fun. So much fun. Oh goodness. Hey buddy. Hey big top top. Hey buddy. Hey skipper tipper. What's going on Mildred? Hmm? I know it's new, new areas. So much fun in it. Hey Mildred. You really gonna have somewhere to frolic, hopefully. Mm. I know, I know. Look, we're, we're gonna get started on it today, girl. Yeah, me and mom are gonna get back on the fence. She's feeling pretty good. And listen, she'll be on the tractor, so she won't be much physical work out of her. You know what I mean? And, and, and y'all, y'all look at Jesse taking a dust bath. Jesse, we got those new lock jaw clips for the T-post. Now this is the old style. You have to twist it around and use a tool. Jessie's back over there dust bathing. Look at her. Honey don't do it quite as much as Jessie does. Does she, Mildred? But this is the old style. The new ones, you don't need any tool. You just kind of clip with your hands. I'm excited about it. Uh, generally, Brooke does like 80% of these. Uh, cause I'm doing something else with the fence and she starts putting these on. You know, if it lines up perfectly like this fence right here, you can see how it just lines up just perfectly in between the squares, just like that. But it don't always hit like that. And when it don't hit like that, right girl? Hmm. That's right. It becomes a pain. Like this one's a good one. That's not a good example. This one's semi, but if, but if it's over like this and you get where this hits this piece here, it's really a pain. And she'll usually leave those and I have to come back and do those for. But these are, in my opinion, very tedious. You got that tool, sometimes that tool slips and you hit your hand. Um, I don't know, I'm excited about the lock jaw clips and see if they actually, you know, are faster. Tip, they're supposed to be so easy that you probably can do it, you know what I mean? I'm not against it, you know? Y'all look at Paris and Jesse down there. Oh, and y'all can see, um, Honey feels a good bit better. She really does. Well, me and Brooke are gonna load our tools up and get started on this fence. We're gonna pace ourselves, cause y'all know, I don't want Brooke to get tired. I don't want her to get a wore out. And if she gets to a point where she has to stop, we'll stop this whole thing. Or, or it may be it to a point where I can finish it myself, so. We're, um, we're not going to push the limits on this at all. And our main goal is just this one pull. We're not going to worry about anything else. And hopefully get this, this one pull knocked out. I think this is going to be our longest pull to date. I think so. You know, just one straight run. Holly, go and hook this thing up, girl. What you waiting on? You want me back up somewhere? Jeez, what you waiting on, Holly? You want to pick up on it and me back up. That goes right there. Okay. Uh, it's not heavy. So I guess, let me, um. 
You sure it's not heavy? Yeah. It was just dragging the ground. Let me come put a pin in? Yeah. I got the black pin here. Put Could that one, one go? Yeah, well, this one's going to... I can let go it's of it. It's not on the latch, so you see that? Yeah, we're good there. Or, yeah, it is. That's what I was looking at. All right, we're good here. All right, now the middle one. Don't you think this will be the hardest? Yeah, it's the longest for sure. Well, I mean, the barbed wire will be easier than this. Hopefully. Stand that roll up right there. Yeah, that's a new one. How far much? How much is on one roll? Three hundred and thirty feet, and it's so longer got, than that. So we got six hundred and sixty. We got plenty. Okay. Can I fix your collar? Yeah. They look like the fawns. Who? The fawns. Well, Jason, I don't know what the fawns looks like. <laughs> you don't know who the fawns is. You know I'm out of out of the loop. He's on happy days. I just. Just don't know what the fawns looks like. Had a leather jacket on happy days. Well, I know who it is, but his <laughs> collar wasn't right. He just flipped that collar up. No, it was <laughs> just a little out of whack. Okay. Should I help you pick this roll up? I'm thinking you may drive over there. You think? Let me set this down. Hang on, don't do nothing yet. Look at our beautiful girls enjoying their... Yeah, they're liking it over there. I knew they would. It's girls and guys. Yeah, I knew they would like it over there. I think this one might be easier. Okay. Just don't let that thing hit you in the head. Yeah, I know. That would not be good, would it? No. I was coming to help you. You were caught on something. It's caught on this fence roll. I put my foot on it. I might not have picked the easier of the two, huh? I think it's okay. Let me come let it down. I got it. You rolling? We rolling. All right. Let's roll it in. I know we're going to have to splice fencing. Without a doubt, we're going to have to splice the fencing um, because that roll is just going to run out. I'm thinking it's about, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm terrible at guessing stuff like that, so I'm not even going to attempt it. I thought Mildred weighed 700 pounds. <laughs> Does it matter which way we pull from? Yeah, we got to pull from that way. We got to come Good. this way. You know why? Why? Because we can't fit through that guide wire. Ah. So when we run out, we'll be on the short end of the fence okay. coming this way. Yeah, we got to start on that end and Good. go backwards. You were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that mockingbird there fussing. Hi, what you think about it over here? Oh, she likes it. Can we let it down, or is it okay? Uh, well, if you let it down, it's gonna be on the ground. You won't be able to go. So I think it's okay. Okay. I didn't want to get off until. So if you need me, to move. All right. Don't need these right now. You ready? I'm ready. 
been a little bit in it. I'm ready to get it completed. Yeah, it's been a little bit. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. You sure you got enough? Mm-hmm. I don't mind doing it, but... Okay. Is that good enough? That's good enough. I'm going to put some big staples in it. So what we like to do is staple it with the air stapler, which holds it in place. And it's super fast. Then we can come back and put these much larger fence staples in. And you know they're not coming out. No. That's what these are made for, and they're barbed. So they are really hard to get out. But the air stapler does help out a lot. I'm sorry, Holly. She about jumped out of her skin. Why? I think she was not paying attention. In deep thought. Hey, sorry, girl. Well, we're gonna have to connect another piece of fence to it anyway. Yeah, I counted 50. I don't know if they're 10 foot apart or 8 they're foot. They're 10. So it's 500 foot. And it should hit right about that guide wire. If not, it should be enough off of it that we can maneuver it. Yeah. Ready to roll? Yeah, let's go. If he's standing out here. What is it? I reckon what people are going to think when they drive by and they see Moody standing out here. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to think. That's the biggest... You know where you go by where that big cow stays? That big old cow. Yeah. That's how we refer to things in the south. <laughs> You're exactly right, too. Take a left up yonder where that big, big old black and white cow is. That's right. You'll see him. Yep. wonder what his name is. <laughs> Biggin. All right, let's go see how far it goes. So we got a guide wire right here that the tractor will not fit in between right here. And that was one area of concern. And this is actually what feeds the power to the barn over there. All right, Brooke says we're getting close to running out. I figured we went a little further than that. Oh, well, we are though. All right. I'm gonna leave that there. So we're gonna leave this here, we're gonna go get the other roll and we're gonna splice them together and then continue on pulling. Right there. That's close, wasn't it? Yeah, I actually thought it was gonna go further than that, but it didn't. Well, I'm kinda glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. Cause that'll enable, enable us to pull it off the, Yeah. connect it and then keep going. Yep. All right, so. We gotta go load another roll. Yeah, you thinking a brand new one? Uh, we got some pieces. I don't know how far it's going to go. That's the only thing. Well, let's look. Okay. You want to try that when it's leaned up against the fence? Sure. You see which one I'm talking about? Yeah, that one. What you think? I can't judge. Huh? I can't judge them. Well, that's the only one that I think is close. Yeah, these other ones are not near long enough. So we either try it or try the new one. I guess the worst case scenario, we just roll it back up. I know. I hate to waste it. I know. So these rolls are really hard to judge, honestly. Um, hey. It's just so hard to tell and we hate to waste them. So we're gonna give it a shot. Worst case scenario, we have to roll it back up and use the brand new roll. But I just, I just hate not to use it. I just hate not to use it. Pesh, you're the only goat not with everybody. Let's hope it works. Uh -huh. <laughs> I 
Holly, thanks for staying up here. She's finding our spot in the shade. Hey, Holly. You see her? <laughs> Holly, we're not staying over here, baby. No, we gotta go pull fence. You gonna stay here? Okay. Let's see how long she stays there. <laughs> Come on, girl, load up. Come on. <laughs> Come on and load up. Go on, load up in there. Let's go. Let's go to work. You weren't gonna stay there long, was you? No. You saw that I was leaving for real, didn't you? You know, I just thought of something. We got some more pieces. So if this is not long enough, we can just splice another one of those cut pieces on there. So we're okay. Just wasn't thinking, you know, when I was over there. Instead of having one splice, we'll have two. So you want to go ahead and put it together before I drive? Yeah. Huh? You can go up some. All right, that's good. And I must say, that's the best splice I have ever done right there. Proud of myself on that one. I'm getting better at it. All right, baby. Be long enough. If not, I know how to splice it. <laughs> Plus, we were just looking. A roll of wire is $280. Once you add tax, that's over 300 bucks. So, if this works, we're going to save $300. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Well, y'all, it didn't work but huh? I think we got a piece that can finish it out. I think we're good. We'll save that $300. All right, I'm ready. Get ready. About 70 foot short. 70 foot short? Okay. Hey, I don't mind doing another patch. <laughs> Just save that money. We can take that roll back. Holly said, that's a lot of lamb chops right there. Yeah, a lot of lambies in there, girl. We can buy with that money. <laughs> you think this one? I think so. We have to piece it again. We're going to scream. That's about like Mildred trying to fit through that door. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Realize she weighs almost 1,300 pounds, and now we know why. Look at Honey and Jesse walking side by side. Oh. Lifted their heads at the same they time, did. too. They are buds. We're not going to have to take that fence back. I totally forgot. We're adding on. We're going to build a fence around the Moo Mansion. So that's going to save us having to buy another roll. Worked out good. It's worked out good. All right, guys. I hope this rolls long enough. I mean, we got another piece. So. <laughs> I guess if we have to, or we will have to, we'll add another splice to it, but fingers crossed, this gets it done right here. Yeah. Yeah, I got the end right here. 
I don't know if I can get it through there. It's just too big. We still got to get it off. Yeah, we still got to get it off. Can we pull up some? Yeah, go on up. <clears throat> that good? I'll help you. I think it's, I think we're going to take it down and kick it. Okay. I don't think it's going to, it's not going to roll on there. It's too, too fat. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. But it might work, Jason. I'm feeling good. Please don't be a foot short. I think that piece was custom made. I mean, it's it's the perfect length. Like if you were to cut it off, that's where you cut it. That's exactly where I would cut it. I told you I was so confident I was getting the tractor back up. <laughs> that was crazy. Wow. If I we can't picked one it. of the other ones, it wouldn't have made it. It would have been, it would have been, yeah, it would have been a foot short. All right, splice number two done. Now it's time to actually pull this baby. See what happens. And it's a certain way it goes like that. All right, you can go back. Let the bucket down, too. Well, you're okay. You're okay. All right, go back. All right, whoa, right there. All right, so Brooke is learning. trying to I'm learn, learning. learn the lock jaws with Holly's help. Hey, baby. Yeah. Holly says she knows how to do this. Does she? Well, I yeah. could use her. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't mind the old way. <laughs> Think, cause maybe I got stronger hands. I I can't do it. Cause I mean, it is easy for me. I just can't do it. I'm gonna have to go get the old one. I mean, it is easy. Here's another bag, Mister Easy. <laughs> All right. So Brooke doesn't care for the lockjaw clips. I love the lockjaw clips. Um, it's way faster for me. She's struggling, and I think cause maybe I got stronger hands. Um, but I did notice something. There's a long end and there's a short end. So you want to start with this long end first and pull this short end over the wire. Even though it's probably an eighth of an inch or in between a quarter and an eighth of an inch there, difference, that does make a difference when you're trying to pull that wire over. So Brooks decided she's gonna work on the wooden post and I'm gonna do the T post and she's probably gonna go get the old style clips. But I'm telling you, it's, it's fairly easy for me. It really is. I mean, I see it. So Brooke has gone back to the old school and I'm using the lock jaw clips. And I will say this, they will make your fingers sore. They will what? Make your fingers sore. Oh, that's why I can't do it. You, um, and 
the top wire is really hard because it's so stiff there's no give so you really have to push so I think I'll have some blisters when the day's over with I may have to get my gloves on again All right, y'all. Look at that. How many feet was it? 500? 500 foot done. Hey, we got it done. It's just been many months. It has. Now, I will say the jury's still out on the lock jaw clips. Not my jury. You didn't like them. I didn't like them. Um, I will say 80% of the time they're faster there's a 20% they're not because the way the fence hits the T-post because not all of them are going to be perfect. But I will tell you this. You're going to have sore fingers and hands when you're through using them. Uh, I, I should have started with my gloves to start with, but I think regardless, gloves or not, you're going to have some sore fingers because it's all pressure with your hands. And um, I can see why Brooke struggled with it. Yeah, and, that was a determining factor for yeah. me is I could not make the muscles in my hands move that much it uh it's not as easy as i thought it was gonna be i put it to you that way y'all look they're still loving it over here today they go back and forth um they don't stay over here um we've seen them a bunch of times over here and uh they could be over there in the pond area it wouldn't hurt anything it really wouldn't uh i just couldn't leave emu feed out when we did that i had to pull the feed up but we could open up that pasture there and let them go over there. But, and I don't think it would be intentional or on purpose, but one of those, like Mildred or somebody could go over there and step on the emu eggs too. So we'll wait, we'll wait till the emu egg season's over with and we'll figure something out where they can go over there too. Right, buddy? We like you guys being happy. You know it? We do. We like you guys being happy. We do. And we'll just, we'll just have all the gates open where everybody can go everywhere. You know what I mean? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? You think you're getting that boat? Hmm? You think you're getting Mama's paddle boat? Get you a captain hat. That's what you need. A captain hat and get you in that paddle boat. Top's like, oh, no, you're not either. <laughs> Goats don't like water. <laughs> oh, swimmies or no swimmies, right, buddy? <laughs> oh goodness we got that run knocked out you believe it give me a fist bump that's what i'm talking about we got that run knocked out i can't believe it brooks okay we didn't overwork which i know you don't like hearing that you like us to overwork but we did get it knocked out um she didn't like the lock jaw clips i did but but i want to tell y'all something i sent nick over there at chestnut hills a message and said you know brooke didn't like them because they were kind of tough and he gave me a tip. He said, if you use it this way, it's way easier. So the next time we try it, which will be soon, we're gonna try Nick's tip with the lockjaw clips. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. In the meantime, Peaches, Brooke and myself and Mary Carl, we're gonna reward ourselves for a job well done. And we're gonna head over to one of our favorite local little restaurants here called the flying peach okay okay she's done talking meeting adjourned <laughs> hey y'all we're gonna head over to the flying peach and uh reward ourselves for a for a good day's work today let me bring y'all back some french fries hmm we may do that how about that we'll give everybody a little treat a little, a little fry or two. How about that? That sound good? <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back, guys. I hear you, baby. I know. We, we're working on your fence over there. We are. We are. Let's go get some flying peach. Yeah. <laughs> flying peach. Here we come. And you know what? I, I told the goats I'm, I'm going to bring them a few french fries back. French fries? Yeah.
Okay. I'm not getting french fries. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the goats to order french fries. I don't even know that they have french fries. Uh-oh, I may get in trouble. I it? think you might. You know, they have that homemade macaroni and cheese. You know what you're right. homemade baked beans. Um, the homemade coleslaw. I'm going to send peaches a text. You better. Because <laughs> french fries ain't on the menu. I'm going to be in trouble. Yes, you are. Here comes my barn. Here comes my barn. There it is. Right there. Man, oh man. I can't wait till I start painting mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to paint for you. Reckon how long it take. I wonder, I wonder um, how long it take me until I expired on top of that. You better get started before <laughs> April hits. <laughs> Fine peach barbecue, here we come. Man, I smell it. You can smell it too. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm.